for another session of Tao Overflows. Why am I not peaceful? This is the question of everyone. Why am I not peaceful? You are not peaceful. You are disturbed because you are clinging to life and you do not know what is life. Life is a flow that is constantly flowing and instead of flowing with life, you are like a piece of a straw that is lying across the bed of the river, river of life, trying to block, change the direction of the flow of the river and because of this you are more clinging to life and not realizing that it is a flow and that's why you are not peaceful you are disturbed you do not allow the life to flow and follow its natural course. How does it happen in our life? When your spouse leaves you or there is some problem, you cling to it, you are disturbed. You do not consider that we meet, we are travelers along the path that leads to inward journey from seed that exists, love that exists in us, in our inconscient being as seed, as energy. It is waiting and sometimes it waits for lives to begin its process. And when the seed blossoms, it, it blossoms through the root of love and finally it becomes, when it blossoms there is fragrance and beauty that is spreads at, as light. You are like the straw that is blocking, staying across the bed of the river instead in the direction of the flow of the river. There is no other reason. You want to know how I can be peaceful. First of all, you have to tell me how you became miserable, how you attained to this state of your understanding and where did you learn? Which psychological institute, which a spiritual commune, did you learn it? Whatever is your way, what is, whatever is your way of understanding towards life, what is your way of living that makes you disturbed and deprives of your peace, serenity and harmony, that is your birthright. You are standing in your own way for this transformation, for lives. This is what you have been doing. Your religions, religious preceptors who do not know, who have not reached the state of awakening and trying to interpret and guide you. This is the act of criminal, criminal act. You have not blossomed, but you are giving the guidance to the people. And that is the reason that you go on becoming more and more disturbed, more and more you are deprived of the peace. The, you have to remember there is a room where you want to go in, it has a door. Through the door, you can come in 
through the door you go out. The process of coming in the room is that you are facing towards the room. And to go out means you are facing against the room outside. Where are you facing in your life outward? Outward relations, outward life, outward everything outward, whether it is religion, there is religion. Everybody claims to be practicing religion, but nowhere the religiosity seems to be. It is like an artificial flower which can exist for a longer time than the natural or real flower. Jesus says, look at those lilies. They are far more beautiful than all the beauties. They, they blossom in the morning and wither away by the evening. And no sooner they blossom, the process of withering begins. So, love is that. So, you are facing outward everything. You look at it. Your relationships, your conditionings are all responsible for your present state of affairs, present state of lack of peace and harmony within you. Then you come to someone and someone gives you a mantra, a zikr or something, a short technique how to be peaceful, what we can get. So you start rosary. You are looking for the blessing from someone that you can attain to the grace of the egg God. That is why an ordinary person becomes is deprived of the peace and inner silence. And the religious person becomes disturbed and is deprived of silence in an unusual manner. He says that he needs peace and along with that he wants money, he wants prestige, he wants social status. The, the list is very long. The list of the items in that is very long and the longer the list is, deeper will be your inner disturbance, deeper will be your inner disturbance and lack of peace and harmony. If someone becomes, start practicing religion, he becomes on his own, disturbed, lacks peace, and he does not want anyone else in the house to remain happy, remain peaceful, because that person wants everyone to act the way this person wants. So you try to manipulate the lives of the persons around you, your children, your parents, if you have grown up, and everyone else. And you create everything. The person wants to wake up in the night late. You want, you are disturbed by that. You want him to go to sleep early and wake up in the morning, you want peace and this becomes the source of disturbance
for you. Peace is not desired. You have to understand why you are miserable, why there is disturbance, why peace is not there in you, in you, around you. The moment you understand this, you will allow the straw instead of being across the bed of the river to change its direction, to flow in the direction of the river. And if you are demanding peace and you are aspiring for all those things that cause that deprives you of peace and serenity. Peace is not something that you can desire. Peace is something that is to be realized. Remove all that is unwanted. And then all of a sudden from deep within something springs forth like the reservoir. Otherwise, it will remain contradictory. You are accumulating all those things which are causing you disturbance and depriving you of your peace, but you are still demanding peace. Peace cannot be an object to be desired. All desires, unfulfilled desires at any level, creates disturbance and this disturbance deprives you of inner harmony, oneness and peace is the fragrance. Peace is the fragrance of inner harmony and oneness. When peace or all those which are unwanted are removed what finally remains the residue that is peace that is harmony that is oneness you can define disease but you cannot define health health is the absence of disease and disease you can recognize so you have to go on removing all that causes the disease symptoms. You have to remove the disease symptoms. When all the disease symptoms are removed at the physical level, at the mental or the psychological level, then what remains is health. We can, a doctor can give you the injection for to cut off the symptoms of the disease, but he cannot give you injection to be healthy. So peace cannot be infused into it. The only thing that you can do, remove the symptoms that deprive you of this inner serenity, harmony and oneness. Ultimately, peace will shine as light. Only this much for this morning until we meet again on another topic on judgment. Take care and do have a pleasant day.